Welcome to the Paintech Bite Size Tutorials. This time, probably our favorite board. This is the Teensy 3.2. It is absolutely tiny and it is an absolute powerhouse. It is an awesome little device. You can see how absolutely minuscule it is. It's got far more pins than you expect. If you look on the underside there, you might be able to spot there's a whole bunch of blank pins there that you can solder onto every single inch of this board has been utilized to its maximum efficiency it's actually a four layer PCB as far as I'm aware um, this is manufactured by a company called PJRC it is not an Arduino product it is Arduino compatible um, with on steroids basically um, Paul the brainchild of Paul Stoffrigan um, the guy is some kind of genius in my opinion I don't know how he manages to do everything he does but this board is amazing. Not only does it run, um, it, it runs a Cortex M4 chip. Uh, out of the box, it runs at 722 megahertz, but you can overclock it to 96 megahertz. It's got 256 kilobytes of flash RAM memory available. The bandwidth is 192 megabytes per second. Now that's extraordinarily fast. And it has a built-in cache of 256 bytes. So we are talking some serious oomph as far as an embedded programmable board goes. Um, EEPROM 2 kilobytes, um, and it's actually a dedicated EEPROM chip and we have actually DMA access, full proper DMA access on 16 channels here. We have 34 digital I.O. pins. To put that in perspective, um, the Arduino um, Mega or Due has 54 and you can see the scale difference so um, obviously they're designed for a different purpose but it gives you some idea of how incredibly tiny this little board is um, 34 digital IO pins the whole board runs at 3.3 volts but get this in contrary to the Due, which is probably the Arduino current competitor to this um, this board supports 5 volt it's 5 volt tolerant on all of its digital pins which is a major bonus, which means you can actually plug in 5 volt devices. It's not recommended, you should probably use some kind of um, uh, shifter. However, I've been using 5 volt stuff with no problems whatsoever across the board on the TC3.2. It seems to be extremely capable of handling 5 volts. So um, it's got that's a massive plus for this little board. Um, the digital I.O. voltage output is 3.3 volts. Um, the voltage input is 5 volt tolerant, as I've said. It has 21 analog inputs. Um, most of these are not dedicated. Some of them are dedicated, I believe. Um, we've got this little card that comes with it. Yeah, we've got a handful of dedicated analog inputs, um, but most of them are shared device, shared inputs. Um, there's 21 analog inputs. We have. Um, with 13-bit uh, resolution for the analog inputs, um, programmable gain amp, two of, and 12 of the pins are compatible with touch sensing as well, so it's got built-in capacitive touch sensing on 12 of the pins. We have one analog output DAC of 12 bits, so that's mono. It's not going to be able to produce stereo sound, but it's a heck of a lot better than using PWM for sound output, for example. It has 12 built-in hardware timers of varying different types. Um, that's more than any other device that I'm aware of. It's absolutely fantastic. It's got three serials, uh, two of which have got FIFOs, three with high-res board, and uh, two with fast clock. It's got um, SPI bus, uh, one of with FIFOs. It's got I squared C. It will, it's got two I2C connect, co uh, connectors. It's got CAN bus on board as well. So if you want to talk to your Volkswagen or your Audi or your BMW, you can technically plug this straight in and actually talk to the CAN bus on your in your car or wherever else. And it's also got I2S audio with a FIFO size of eight. Now, most importantly, when we're starting to talk about audio, there is an audio board that just literally bolts onto this. And together, the two devices create something exceptional there's an audio library that Paul has created which allows you to mix um, lots and lots of channels of audio and add effects and create synths and all kinds of stuff all using the power of this one chip um, running at 72 or 96 megahertz 
and it's alarmingly capable. There's an onboard memory chip on the audio library on the audio card, which um, combined with the uh, with with this, you can get uh, 16 samples running at full CD quality, all at the same time, and with a few effects and such like all built in. It's it's really quite something. So we absolutely love this here now. To go with this board, there is also TC Duino, Duino which is a software um, add-on to the Arduino IDE that you can download from arduino.cc and you will then install the TNC Duino installer and what it does is it pre-installs a vast array of libraries which are pre-tuned to work with any PGARC TNC product. So there are more than one, there's also the TNC LC, um, there's also the TNC2 and uh, even the TNC, uh, TNC1 still. And basically all of these libraries are tuned to work with this device so um, you don't get any problems it just seems to work out of the box it's not a walled garden it's a sort of a semi walled garden in that you probably don't need to go outside of it but if you do that's fine but if you stay inside it everything just seems to work it's really impressive bit of kit if you need to get hold of one and i suggest you do please consider going to paintech.co.uk thank you